Good morning, Lackaparl. My name is Zach Wyspanskowski, alongside Sir Nelson. And we have a great show to plan today, don't we, Zach? Yes, we do. Um, we'll take a look at our crowning of our king and queen for homecoming. We also have some a little bit of the Young American show and Meet Your Staff. We also have Joke and Word of the Week, and we will take a look at your cross-country and tennis teams. And don't forget, our new segment called Eagle Eyes Got Talent. Double E, double N is now. Today we will start the show off today with the crowning of King Bramer and Queen Malaysia. Let's take a look. Isn't that so exciting? Congratulations, Tyler and Alicia. On behalf of Eagle Eye News, I'd like to congratulate King Bramer and Queen Alita on the crowning of King and Queen, as well as all the other candidates. You are so pretty. You're all so pretty. You're so pretty and witty and gay. You're so charming. Alright, Jim. 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 I think we get it. Okay. If you want to see Coronation, you can go to lqpd.org and click on Live, and you can find the archived event. Now let's take a look at Meet Your Staff. Bryce, who do you have for us? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our first segment of Meet Your Staff. I'm joined here with Mr. Beergon. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. Now we're going to dig a little bit into your personal life. All right, let's do it. Where were you born and raised? I was born in Madison, Minnesota, and raised on a farm three miles south of Lewisburg. What high school did you attend and what activities were you in? I attended Lockpaw Valley High School, graduated in 1999, and I was busy in many activities. I was in football, basketball, and baseball, student council, National Honor Society, uh, swing choir, and I'm sure there's some I'm missing in there too. What college did you attend? I went to Southwest Minnesota State uh, for four years. Got my uh, secondary education degree in mathematics, and I finished my master's of education from Saint Scholastica. What do you do here before coming to the valley? I. Uh, I got my first job was at Minnewaska Area High School near Glenwood, and I was there for a few years, and then went one year up to Horizon Middle School, which is in Moorhead, and went back to uh, Minnewaska after that. And so I've been teaching for 10 years. This is my 11th year. Where do you teach here at the Valley? I teach uh, secondary math, which would be Tech 1, Tech 2, Tech 3, Math 7, and I teach pre-calculus. Do you find it weird? walking through the hallways here? It feels a little weird because when I was first here I was a student and walking around and seeing all the teachers and now they're my co-workers and, uh, and I'm in the classroom, in front of the classroom rather than sitting in the chair. The last question before rapid fire, what do you like to do outside of high school? Uh, there's a lot of things that I like to do. Um, I, like to, I like all kinds of sports. I like to follow sports and watch sports. Um, I like to golf. I still play baseball during the summer. Hunting and fishing is a big deal for me. I like to do a lot of that, uh, mainly hunting. Um, I also like to farm, help my parents farm a little bit, and all kinds of projects inside and outside of the house with, uh, with my wife Dawn and, and our son Rory. 
Now it's time for a game of rapid fire. We're going to put 20 seconds on the clock. And you have to answer as many questions as possible. Are you ready? Yep. Are you married? Yes. What's your favorite TV show? Green. Favorite book? Don't have one. Favorite, favorite food? Cats. Pie equals? Seven. Favorite holiday? Uh, lunch. June or July? October. Gophers or? Gophers. Gophers. PC or Mac? PC. Favorite sport? Uh, tennis. Tennis. Oh. Okay, Mr. Beergarden, you answered 10 questions, but they might not have been right. And I'm happy to inform that you are the rapid champion for rapid fire so far for this year. Where are you getting next? Um, time. Is it? Uh, probably go to first hour. On behalf of Eagle Line News Network, I want to thank you, and it was great getting to know you. Well, thanks for coming in, Bryce. It was my pleasure. Bryce Olson, Eagle Line News Network. Thanks, Bryce. And thank you, Mr. Bjergan. Just thank you for bestowing your great wisdom upon this establishment. Thank you for sharing all of your experiences and how these experiences have shaped you throughout the years, and how you've developed into the great man you are today. All right, just, Jim. It's Jim. just so wonderful. I'm hey. so grateful. That's enough words. <laughs> Jim, that's enough words. Word of the week is next. Okay. The word of the week this week is flout. To openly disregard rules or laws in an overt or a showing manner. Such as these students are overting the rules of the classroom by using their cell phones. Go Derek, come on Derek. The more you know. Thanks to Tim Seeger and all of his work, we here at the Valley were able to celebrate music with the young Americans. Now let's take a look at some of the footage. Dance party! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Raise your hand! kids involved in the three-day workshop. With only a $10 donation to Eagle Eye, you can receive your own video. That's no joke. But this is. Why were all of Mrs. Zinda's eggs broken? Why, Lau? Because the yolks cracked them up. Uh -huh. Huh. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Lau. Now let's take a look at fall sports. Jacob, what do you have for us? Thanks, Sawyer. Finally caught up to two of the cross-country captains. Pun is totally intended. And here's what they have to say. How's the season gone so far? Um, so far, the team has been doing really good. We've got some first place finishes in a couple seconds. We've had a couple injuries, but we're getting back to running for our full team. So it's going good. Mm -hmm. And how, what are you striving for as a team goal this year? Our main goal, like our ultimate one, is to get back to the state meet. But as of right now, our goal is to get everyone healthy and to continue to compete in every race and to lower our PRs, which is our personal best, so our lower our times. Blake, how's your season going so far? Well, we've been doing pretty good. Yeah, a couple of third and fourth place finishes. Haven't quite gotten a first, however, I think it'll eventually we'll get there. What are you striving for as a team goal, too? <clears throat> for a team goal, improve, get better, get faster, get in shape, maybe Get, make a state run, we'll see. Blake, when and where is the conference meet? The conference meet is at Canby on October 14th, so not too far away, so hope you guys can make it. When and where is the section meet this year? The section meet is October 23rd, and it's actually in Madison this year, so people should come watch, it'll be exciting, and our hometown, so it'll be good. 
Jacob Willis for Eagle Head News Network. Now turn it over to Bailey for some tennis. Thanks, Jacob. I had a chance to interview one of our senior captains on our tennis team. How is your team doing overall? We're doing a lot better than last year. Um, putting the record aside, the girls have been working really hard and we've improved a lot this season. Who is on your team? Well, combined with Dawson Boyd, we have four singles players and three doubles teams. Playing four singles for us this year is Ashton Oy. Playing third singles is Molly Hacker. Playing second singles for us is Cameron Seachlog, and I'm playing first singles for us this year. Our first doubles team consists of Carissa Jan and Courtney Hansen. Second doubles consists of Christine Hamburg and Sierra Kep, and Marissa Gearman and Catherine Bratch from Dawson play third dubs for us. When was sections? So last time we had team sections at YME, and this upcoming week we're going to be having individual section play at Redwood. Do you think Giles could return one of your serves? No. Good luck girls on your postseason play. I'm Bailey Larson for Eagle Eye News. Back to the studio. Good job and good luck in your postseason. Now it's time for a new segment called Eagle Eye's Got Talent. Starting us off is the smooth sounds of Lacaparo Valley High School. Yo, yo, let's roll it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rachel Schroeder. I'm a junior here in the Valley, and I'm going to play you a song um, that I wrote myself last two weeks ago. Something like that. So, hope you enjoy it.
we encourage you to contact Eagle Eye News with your talent. Whether it's from rapping or yo-yoing to trying to spin the drumstick, whatever it is, come show us. You can become a YouTube sensation. Hey, if you impress us enough, we might even give you a shout out after you show your talent. Isn't that great? By the way, good job, Rachel. This is the Eagle Eye crew reminding you to fly like an eagle. On behalf of Eagle Eye News, I'd like to extend a congratulations to Queen Bramer and... That's just going.